Tensions between China and Britain look set to escalate again. The UK's next move is expected to be an end to its extradition treaty with Hong Kong. Shelving the 30-year-old extradition treaty would be the latest salvo from the UK in response to China's national security law in Hong Kong. Already, Britain angered China last week when it decided against using Huawei for its 5G network. And before that, it promised a path to citizenship for millions of people from Hong Kong who want to leave the city. China has warned that it will respond to interference in its internal affairs. It has urged London to avoid further damaging relations. Britain says the new national security law breaches agreements made before the 1997 handover of Hong Kong to Chinese rule, while China insists the law is vital to maintain stability in the city. Well, let's speak to Ollie Barrett in London for more on this. Ollie, Prime Minister Boris Johnson says that Britain will take a calibrated approach to dealing with China. Tell us about this. I think what Boris Johnson means is that the UK is going to respond on a case-by-case -case basis when issues arise with China, but also that it wants to maintain as good relations as it possibly can with Beijing. Clearly, those relations have been significantly rocked in recent weeks. Issues from Hong Kong to Huawei, uh, now with the movements on the extradition agreement. Uh, certainly, China very angry with some of the moves that Britain has been making. And so Boris Johnson trying to um, reassure Beijing that there is still the prospect of good ties between London and Beijing, even as they on a case by case basis uh, do worsen over particular individual issues. Let's have a listen to exactly how Boris Johnson uh, has been describing how he sees things moving forward. Let's be very clear. There is a balance here. And I'm not going to be sort of pushed into a position of becoming a knee-jerk sinophobe on every issue, somebody who is automatically anti-China. But we do have serious concerns. We have concerns about the treatment of the, the Uyghur uh, minority, obviously, about the human rights abuses. We obviously have concerns about uh, what's happening in Hong Kong. Ollie, Mr. Dominic Raab is expected to speak about Hong Kong in Parliament. Any details on what he'll say? That's right. We think that the Foreign Secretary will go ahead and suspend the extradition arrangement currently in place between the UK and Hong Kong. Probably, we think, not, not going as far as dumping it completely, giving the UK the option, therefore, of re-upping that agreement uh, at some point in the future if it can get to that point. But we do think the agreement will be suspended. This is a deal that's been in place for over 30 years. It does mean that at the moment, if someone who's in the UK is suspected of having committed a crime in Hong Kong, then Hong Kong authorities can uh, request that that person is handed over to face justice in Hong Kong and vice versa, of course. Um, the UK now fears that if that were to happen, if it were to hand over a British citizen, for example, to the Hong Kong authorities to face justice, then that individual might end up being sent on to China uh, to face justice of some sort there. And that is worrying to authorities here in London. So we do expect that Dominic Raab will suspend this agreement in the House of Commons later on. Uh, and again, China is going to be angry about that. And uh, one would think would uh, again accuse the UK of meddling in its internal affairs and overreacting with the move that we expect Dominic Raab to announce. Well, thanks for giving us up to speed. Ollie Barrett speaking to us from London.